All right, we go Shining Treasures first. Let's go. There are a lot of cards in this set that I hope that we pull today. I would love a God Pack. That would be awesome. But if we never pulled a God Pack, I would really want the Charizard from Akira Ogawa. I don't care if it's English, if it's Japanese, or what. I just want it. All right. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's hope that Amazon didn't have tampered packs. And let's go ahead and uh, go pack number one. From what it looks like, it doesn't look like we have anything to worry about. I don't see any signs of any fishiness. So let's go ahead and uh, cut our first pack open and get into it. I don't know. Don't think there's anything in the back that we have to worry about. If we get a sign of our hit, we will save it for the end and go through the rest of the box. But let's go ahead and get into our first box and see if we can get anything good. We got the Palmy or, or Palmot already hollow. Vax Caliber hollow. We got a reverse. I, I guess this would be a reverse hollow. It's like a weird like static effect with a bunch of random shapes. <laughs> the Glamette and Glamora going together. Nimona's backpack. Practice studio. And the kid who peed in the party done by Okacheki. All right. I will go ahead and put this in a penny sleeve. Put this in the background. And everything else will go in a stack for now. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a box of this. Is because you kind of just get something in every pack. I have never pulled a god pack in any of these high class sets. So that would be awesome if we could do that today. And even if not. I just haven't opened a Japanese set, so it'd be nice to pull something cool. We got Mimikyu. We got King Gambit. Hey, we got our first shiny, which is um, Grapska. I'm trying to think of Reller's Evolution's name. Then we got Mew EX, which I will be adding to the binder. Grapska is a pretty nice shiny. That is beautiful. Definitely not one of the shinies I'm hunting for. But if I add a shiny to the collection, that's a good one. Mew, on the other hand. Um, I haven't opened a lot of 151. This is just a reprint of 151 Mew. So to add the EX to my binder, I'm just going to add the Japanese version. So I will put that right there. Rest of the pack, we have uh, Pokemon League Headquarters, Watro, and Clive. Alright, so... So far, one card to add to the collection, one card to go on to the store. How are you doing today, my friend? Dark Slayer, hopefully you're doing well. We got a Pidgey, Kadabra, Wiggles, Tinkatun, which is a great artwork. Ditto. Pidgey Reverse, that is cool. We got Karidon by OKCG Works. Akira Agawa. Arvin. Okay. Not a bad uh, set of packs. The glitch hollow. You know what? I like that phrasing. Glitch hollow. That sounds way better than uh, reverse hollow. So, yeah. the It is. It looks nice, right? It looks really great on that Pidgey. Alright. Next pack. Alright. We got a Toxel. Hop it. Caesar. Lucha. Oh, I think we got our hit. So I'm going to save this for the end. And we will go through the next few packs. It could be a shiny, but I don't think the shinies have that kind of border um, in uh, Japanese. I think they have a regular border. So. We're going to look for our shinies first before we see what we ended up hitting. Which, knowing my luck, we probably just hit a shiny Floor Gato. Uh, not Floor Gato. Uh, Espathra. <laughs> I spoke it into existence. Hello, Espathra. How are you doing? Super Rod, Greedent, and Iono. Espathra has showed up to the party. Which, I actually need for the collection. This is a Takuya artwork, and I do not have it. And I believe this is a Paldean Fates card. So, I will add that to the PC. 
All right. We got five packs left. I don't know what the pull rates are on this set. Like I said, I didn't open up boxes when the set released because boxes were like 70 plus dollars at the lowest. So we're going to see if we can pull something good. Hey, you know what? I'm going to take that. We got a Tandem Mouse. Followed by a Gardevoir. Followed by Luminous Energy, Mime Jr. And I don't know. I don't know all of the energies. But I will take this. Another personal collection edition. Because I believe I have Mouse Hold. But I do not believe I have Tandem Mouse Shiny. So that is awesome. I am happy about that one. All right. Let's see. We got Quovet, Ralts, Rapska, Professor's Research, Superior Energy Retrieval. We got the Boulder, which I don't think I'm adding to the PC. That Murkrow's artwork is cool. So a little interesting story about Murkrow and the first time I've encountered Murkrow. The very first time I encountered Murkrow was at the Japanese Pokemon card. So Neo had just released in Japan. And if you went to the malls, Pokemon, it was the hype time to be a Pokemon fan, right? So if you went to the mall, Pokemon was everywhere. Japanese sets, English sets. I remember getting Japanese Lugia. From a mall pack. From uh, the Neo set, right? Well, before I knew Neo sets were coming out, all I knew of was Meryl and Donphin. Donphin because of the movie. And Meryl because it was revealed early. And it was rumored to be called Peekaboo. Well, a kid came over, knew I had a Charizard, a base set Charizard. And uh, he went to show me the Murkrow he got, right? From the uh, Neo set. And as I was looking at the Murkrow, he used the Murkrow as a distraction to steal my Charizard. So uh, my base set's Charizard got stolen because I was looking at Murkrow, which was a Pokemon I've never seen before. So I think to a certain extent, if you guys have ever caught a Pokemon stream of mine, you'll know that I have a slight resentment to Murkrow. I call him Jerkrow. And that resentment might be built from the fact that my base set uh, Charizard got stolen because of Murkrow distracting me. I know, right? Come on, Shiny. Hey, I will take that. Shiny Jump Luff. And then an Alakazam from 151. I will take both of those. Add those both to the personal collection. Let's go. To be fair, I don't know if Jump Luff was one I was planning to add to the personal collection, but I'll put a sleeve on it. Because, you know, like they say, if you like it, then you uh, should put a sleeve on it. So, so far, this box has been pretty good. It was cheaper to get this box off of Amazon than an ETB of the set. And so far, I think that I've been, uh, pulled more out of this box than I would have an ETB on, like, a normal opening. Now... Give or take, if I have a lucky ETB, it would have been a different story. But the chances of me getting a lucky ETB, pretty low, right? Got a so so Ponyard, which is pretty cool. And then Pidgeot from Takuya, which I believe I need this as well. I need a Pidgeot EX from Takuya. So, you see, I'm adding a lot to the personal collection. All right. So now we know for a fact that that last pack had our hit in it. So I'm going to go in reverse and get rid of all the cards that are non-hitters. And we're going to see what we ended up getting. 333. It's an SSR. Ooh. Of all SSRs to get, we end up getting the one that we can get as a promo in English. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Oof. Still less cool nonetheless. 
but definitely not a card I was looking to pull. But I mean, I got some nice little cards to add to the collection, especially two baby shinies I really wanted, and quite a few EXs I really wanted. So uh, I'm happy with those.